Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Adam, and today we're going to be starting up a little project that may be, well, somewhat ill-advised. What project might that be, you ask? No. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, yes. This only means good things to people who know what it is, I'm sure. To those who don't know, this is a little game by Camelot Software Bledding, released in 2001 for the Game Boy Advance, called Golden Sun. The first in a two-part game that would later go on to receive a third installment on the Nintendo DS many, many years later. Now, it is possible to rename our main character, Isaac, here, and it's also technically possible to rename the rest of your party, as well as some other characters. But... I don't think we're going to do that. Let's just stick with the default names for now, shall we? And with that, let's get right into it. The game doesn't really even have so much as an introduction. We just get dropped right into the middle of things. With some text boxes trying to wake Isaac up. And it seems like we're right in the middle of some very, very bad things going on. Sounds like one heck of a storm going on, doesn't it? But it seems like Isaac, much like most RPG protagonists, is a very heavy sleeper. But also like most RPG protagonists, seems to have the remarkable ability to go from asleep to standing up almost instantaneously. And of course, what RPG protagonist would be complete without Magic Mom? Hmm. Now, this is something else about this game that kind of bugs me. With the exception of one single choice, no choice in this game matters whatsoever. At most, you might get a little bit of changed dialogue in the scene immediately following the choice, but nothing ever changes. Now, I know that a lot of early RPGs were like this, choices you make don't really matter. However, this game seems particularly egregious, because in a lot of early RPG games, like take for instance the infamous But Thou Must from Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior, in that, in that instance you were at the very least forced to eventually choose the proper response to continue on. In this game, though, it doesn't matter which choice you choose. Like, in this particular instance, it only changes your mom's commentary about the scene. So with that said, I'm just going to choose whatever default choice seems most appropriate at the given time. In this instance, yeah, I think we have everything we need. And here we have Isaac's mom just saying some things that seem far too wise for a, for a young child to actually realize. Personally, I think Isaac is just still half asleep and not really thinking about things like that. And then coming in the front door down here, we have another fine gentleman. And the light on the lantern mysteriously goes out. Doesn't seem like a good thing to me. As we come outside, they're asking some very good questions. Hmm. Well, if they can't stop the boulder, I'm sure that'll be bad for whatever's in its path. But, apparently, Kyle here wants us to run on ahead to the plaza. Needless to say, Mom is not so happy about that plan, but Kyle is a responsible man and has to help the others. 
And of course, being a very typical RPG protagonist mom and a very good wife, Dora wants to go help. But of course, Kyle says, nah. But Dora is stubborn. And, you know, we've lived in this town for all our life, however long that may be, so yeah, we can find our way there. And, you know, she helpfully tells us the way anyway. And then they kind of run off and leave us here. So let's just go to the south and... Oh. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. What's in here? Oh. Hello there. Yeah, sure, we just came to check on you. Yeah, yeah, plaza, plaza. Let's just go. We do run off this way. Let's go this way, too. And... I guess we're not going that way. Oh, well. So let's just keep going then. Here, more boulders. Anybody in here? Hmm. No, nobody in here. Oh, look, there's somebody here. Uh, dude, there's kind of like some stuff going on here. Don't you think we should leave? I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah, come on, let's go. And just like that, we have our second party member. Garrett is, uh, he's something. Apparently, that's, uh, Mount Aleph. Mount Aleph? I don't know how to pronounce it. But that's where the, bo that's the, um, that's the mountain where the boulder's coming from, I think. So, Garrett's probably right. We shouldn't head that way. So, onward back to trying to find a way to the south. Uh oh Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. But luckily, we have these guys up here using their strange and mysterious powers to do things and try and stop the boulder. Even though it doesn't look like it's going too well for them. And, you know, as they point out, if their synergy... Now, this word always bugs me. But, whatever it is, if it runs out, Veil will be destroyed. And we can't have that. Now, when it comes to that word, it's short for psychic energy. And when I was just a young child, when this game came out, I always misread it as Psy Energy, which makes sense to me, but now that I'm older and can read well, I can tell that's not how it's actually spelled. So, I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. The words that it's shortened from would lead you to believe it's pronounced Synergy, Looking at the words, it looks more like it would be pronounced synergy. And then there's this guy, who apparently had a bad run-in with some boulders. Or maybe it was the monsters. But, uh, no, I don't think he's gonna die. I think he'll be good. And look at that. He's perfectly fine. But the monsters here are a problem. So, yeah, I'm right there with you, boys. So, let's just get a move on. And run into our first battle. With a vermin. Now, being the first enemy in the game, this guy is nothing to worry about, really. We have our standard battle menu here, fight, run away, and status. And if we choose to fight, we go into the actual combat menu, where we can attack, 
use our synergy, use items, or defend. Right now, uh, Isaac and Garrett both have a couple herbs, but no, syner no synergy. So, just, just to clarify here, Garrett has two herbs instead of three, because I'm not sure why, but regardless, let's just attack. Now, that last attack Isaac made did less damage. Not because his attack suddenly decreased, but the vermin enemies, they like to defend. And when they defend, they reduce your damage, just like in a lot of RPGs. And that right there, my friends, was a critical hit. As you can see, it did much more damage. Took down that bat in very short order. And from now on, we'll randomly encounter enemies. So let's just chop some mushrooms. Get punched by a mushroom. And take care of them. They are nothing to worry about. And when we come over here, we can see that we're right below Isaac's house. Oh, that was kind of a long roundabout way to get around to doing not much of anything, really. And, uh, of course. It just can't really be easy for us, can it? So, back up we go. Up around here. On over. Down. And on and on and on. And, oh! More things going on. Oh! Well, this doesn't look very good, now does it? Hmm. I certainly hope that we'll find a way to save him. Oh. Oh no. Doesn't look like we made it. Just kidding. He's still fine for now. Hmm. So... If the rope won't reach, why don't you just... Uh, I don't know. This is another thing about this game that kind of bugs me. Things just don't really make sense. Like, will the rope not reach because it's not long enough? Or because they can't throw it to him? In which case, you know, how weak are they? Or, like, some other reason. It's just very, very strange and bizarre. But, as they point out, it seems like they've used up all their synergy. Which doesn't seem like a very good thing. But, Dora comes up with the miraculous idea to go get help. Meanwhile, Kyle voices a very real concern, but she's right. There is nothing else they can do for him here, apparently. No one's really happy about that, but, you know, they all agree it's the best idea they have. <clears throat> oh dear, excuse me. And so... Dora and Jenna will be running off to go try and find help. Now, Dora just came from up north, so she should know very well there's no one else up there. And yet, she is going right back up there. Jenna, meanwhile, has being more sensible, and heading off down south to the plaza. Yeah, we saw what happened. <laughs> he really does need help, but I don't think you're going to find any up there. We can try and help. To the plaza. Right. Exactly where we were already going, then. Okay. Sure. 
Just, uh... Hang in there, Felix. You'll, uh... You'll be alright somehow, I'm sure. <clears throat> More enemies! Let's take them out. Take out the bat, because it's fragile. And we get kind of stabbed. But it's fine. We attack the vermin, and as you can see, it's defending. More of a nuisance than anything else. A few more coins, a little more experience. And we move on up here to the plaza. If I can remember where to go, there we go. We head around and down here, and on to the plaza. <clears throat> Amazing. Truly amazing. <clears throat> and we arrive down here to a little scene. No one wants to let that boulder destroy the village. But is it just me, or did that boulder seem kind of small to do any village destroy? Ah, oh, well. I guess it might be able to do quite a bit of damage if it just went rolling through everything. So they decide to go help the others. Given what we've seen in this village so far, they could probably use the help. So, apparently, this old man is Garrett's grandpa. Interesting information. And yeah, we came to help Jenna. Why Jenna could use a hand just walking to the plaza here and walking back? I am really not sure. And apparently Mr. Redshirt McMuscles up here is all charged up. He's recovered his sight he's recovered his synergy. Or at least enough to save Felix. <clears throat> now this begs the question. If he managed to recover his synergy enough to save Felix just by standing up there with that rock, or, you know, the synergy stone, then why couldn't one of the others just run down here and do the same? Recover their synergy? Ah, plot holes. We'll learn something else about Synergy later on that makes this whole thing even more ridiculous. And we're back! Just in time to see that Felix is still hanging in there. And of course just in time for Isaac's mom to come back too. But she couldn't find anyone who could help. You know, we could have told her that, but oh well. Eh, we managed to find someone who can help. <clears throat> and apparently we're just in time. And Jenna is apparently blind because she cannot see her brother still hanging on, like, ten feet away from her. <clears throat> I know, I know, it's probably more like 40 or 50 feet because of the way perspective in this game works, but still, it's easy to see. And then, this happens. Very, very loud and bad things. <clears throat> we get a couple of freeze frames here of the action happening. And the boulder is just about to crash right down on the dock there. Oh boy. Well, this, um... Oh. Oh no. Well, that's... that's not good. Come on, man. We gotta go get help. 
Oh my god, you're useless. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Leave it to Isaac. Isaac will go get help. There's only one place we can go. So back to the plaza, right? <clears throat> and apparently Garrett decides he can't let Isaac go alone. So, yes, it's times like these that men have to stand together. Even though Isaac and Garrett are both like, what, 12? Anyway, back in the plaza, mysterious strangers. Oh, they just look so friendly, don't they? Apparently, this Sol Sanctum place did something they weren't anticipating. When does that ever happen? Something about switches and it being a miracle that even these two were spared. Such a powerful storm indeed. It's gotta be raining something like, I don't know, puppies and kittens out here. Hmm. Awesome powers of alchemy indeed. But apparently, even, even after they did something that caused the storm this powerful, they are not deterred, and they plan to try again. And next time, they will certainly... Ah. This is not the first, nor will it be the last time, that Garrett's poor timing rears its ugly, ugly head. Um, eavesdropping? Uh, no, not really. We just kind of happened over here. That's not eavesdropping, right? Hey, uh, Garrett? Shut up. Uh, forget everything we heard? Sure thing! Easy, easy. We'll just forget everything. Haha. <laughs> Oh, look, they're gonna help us. I wonder what that means. Oh. That's what it means. Okay. Well, um... We can take these guys, right? Oh. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Gotta love it, huh? Horse losses in video games. Gotta love it. But, with that, I think that's where we're going to call it for right now, everybody. <sighs> so then, until next time, have a nice day, everybody. We'll come back and see what's going on three years later.